Guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to use the uh, plugin, the Orient ODB plugin with the Profile Press uh, plugin. Okay, so let's see. Okay, guys, so I already have the Profile uh, Light, Profile Press Light already activated, uh, sorry, already installed. I just have to activate it. So I'm just going to activate this. Okay. And now you can see there is an admin tab, admin tab over here, which says Profile Press. Okay, and there are different tabs again for registration and all that stuff. So, guys, this plugin provides us with the um, the short code profile press registration ID is equal to one. I'm just going to use that, and I've created a page called Sign Up. And then all I have to do is just log in on to this particular page. In fact, open this page on an incognito mode so that I'm able to sign up. So I click on it, you can see that you've got your um, sign up form using this plugin. Now, now basically what I want over here is, uh, is an input uh, field over here for the mobile so that I can do a mobile OTP verification. So all I'll do is just go on to Orient OTP Pro. Uh, this is the Pro one I've installed. You can you have an option to choose between the, the free version and the Pro version, uh, which you can choose from. You can install it from WordPress, the free version, and then if you want the premium version, you can come over here on imranseya.com, Orient, and choose the Pro version as well. Okay, great. <clears throat> so let's see. We need the auth key first. So I'm going to go to the... Uh, Message 91, okay, just need to get the auth key. So once you're logged in, registered, and you bought the credits, uh, either OTP, uh, OTP credits or transactional credits. So for the free version, you have option for OTP credits only. And uh, for the premium one, you have both options, OTP route and transactional route. So wh whichever credits you bought, you just click on API, just click on the auth key and you get the auth key from there. And then come over here, paste the auth key over here and then you have the sender's ID so you can put sender ID whatever you want make sure it's six characters generally it's the brand name uh, but you can put your name as well okay then you have the country code uh, in the free version you have an option to choose only any one country uh, to use at one time but in the premium one you will have the option to choose the all if you select all then user will have option to enter the country code in the front end uh, while putting his mobile number so that any con it can be used with any country at, uh, so multiple country at a time so we'll stick with india first um, we'll choose the mobile number length what is the number of uh, you know digit in the mobile uh, excluding the country code for the validation of mobile number then we choose which route you want to go for so if you bought the OTP route select this if you bought a premium plugin and if you've uh, bought the transaction route which is actually cheaper compared to OTP routes then you select this one okay um, you can always watch my video uh, to know what are the differences between the two okay so we'll select that and the next thing up we is the form settings the first thing we need is basically the form selector so it's pretty easy to get that information all you have to do is uh, it says that please enter unique body class name so i'll go to that page do an inspect element even if you are not um even if you're not a developer it's pretty easy to get that just look for body tags click on it and look for a unique id generally the unique id is the page id so sorry unique class name is with the page id so you can see it says page id 129 Obviously, one page can only have one ID, it cannot be different. So, this class name is perfect for us. So, what I'm going to do is basically come over here and put a dot and paste it. So, it says that please prefix a dot for a class name and hash for the ID. So, since this is a class name, we'll put dot before the class name and then put a space. The next thing we want is basically the parent div class name for the form. So, we look for form element. So I'm just going to click over here and do an inspect element. And just look right up I can see there's a form right here okay so basically you want to know which div element is wrapping up this form the, the most immediate div element which is wrapping this form so if I have look up I can see this one to make sure that this is the one wrapping just click on it if it closes and it doesn't have the form meaning this this is the closest uh, parent selector so we need the class name for it so all of this information will be written in the description box, the class name and everything, so you can use that. But obviously the page ID could be different, so you can always change that. <clears throat> so, make, so you can see over here there is a space between dot and, and the name of the selector. So make sure there's no spaces in between. There will be a space between these two classes, but not between the dot and the class name. So make sure you take care of that. It's pretty small, otherwise it won't work. 
Next thing we need is guys is a submit button selector. We'll come down. This is my submit button register. I hover over it, click on inspect element. I check over here. I have a unique ID submit button. I'm going to use that. So look for ID first when it comes to the button selectors because IDs are unique generally. So I'm just going to go ahead and generally, no, it's actually unique, sorry. Okay, so uh, I'm going to paste that. Why hash is because it's an ID. It says, please enter a unique body class name followed by the submit button ID or class name. So I do need the body class name. I already have that here, which is unique. I'm just going to paste that right before this and put a space right between them. Then I'll check, do I need a mobile input field? Do I need it? Yes, I do, because there is no mobile input field. If there was, then you'll select no, and then put an input name for that. Uh, from from the form so we'll select yes because we do need the mobile input field and all we need now is a template so make sure you can write any code that you want but make sure this OTP within the curly braces is present so I'll write your <coughs> OTP is OTP okay great so make sure this part which is the OTP within the curly braces and capital letters is present the rest everything uh, can be custom as what you want to write in the message all I have to do now is just click on save changes and I've come over here you see the magic just refresh the page sure enough you can see that you've got a mobile number input field over here guys I did have an option to insert this somewhere down here but the only thing with that is that uh, different users would have a different requirements some would someone would want after the email someone would want after the name it's very difficult to decide when you're developing something for uh, multiple users across the globe so I've just put it outside of the form uh, if you want any customization to be done you can always buy a customization package and then you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to you know fix that for you I mean not fix but change that for you great so coming back over here we've already got the um, country code over here okay uh, currently you can see it's uneditable but in case if you bought the premium one and you've selected all over here you'll be able to change the uh, the user will be able to change that uh, from here and uh, you know you can use it for multiple countries basically okay great um, so what I'm going to do is just uh, put my mobile number here <clears throat> So currently, if you try to submit the register form, you see you can't because you have to verify the mobile first. So that's the beauty of this plugin. It doesn't allow the form to be submitted until unless the user verifies the mobile number. So click on send OTP. Sure enough, you can see it says OTP sent to your mobile. And I'll just check my mobile for this OTP and enter it there. I'm just going to paste it. And if I click on verify, you can see thanks for verification. The mobile number and the country code has been grayed out, right? So the user can't change it. And now if I try to register it, sure enough, the form has started to function the way it's supposed to, according to the uh, mem this particular plugin. Okay, according to the uh, profile press plugin. Okay, great. So brilliant, guys. So I think that that works. Um, you can always check for if you want the option for reset password as well as so you can just scroll down where it says forgot password settings okay and over here again you need the form parent selector so you can put all the information there you need the any input name you can put that information there then you need to uh, you know use the meta key for the mobile number so guys for a meta key you just need to go to php my admin click on the wp user meta and look for Search for this partic one particular ID for a user and just scroll down and look for the meta key. So this is the meta key. <clears throat> look for the mobile number. I can see this is the mobile number. Next to it, we have the meta key name, which is mobile underscore number. So that's the information you would want to put over here, right here. Okay, and then you'll check whether it's being saved uh, with the country code or without the country code. So right now, the mobile number is being saved in the database without the country code. So you will just select no if that's the case. Uh, otherwise yes and then again you select the country code or if you have premium plugin you can also select all if you want to use it for multiple countries and then you just put your message over here like I've explained earlier save changes and then on the login page you will have an option right here for register sorry uh, for reset password and then a new password will be sent to the user that user will be able to uh, use the same password to log in and the, the in the database the password will be changed Okay, guys, so if, I hope you did like the video. If you have any questions, you can uh, definitely leave the comment for me. 
in the description box of the video or you can contact us by going on to imransayed.com or you can contact us and contact us on this email um, also if you did like our product um, and if you did like the uh, you know the free version um, you can always donate us on this link using paypal or paytm and you can also make sure you rate us guys because it's always helpful uh, and motivates us to do even better when you rate, rate us so you can go on to rate us page over here and then uh, you'll be able to rate us uh, all the information is present over here right you also have um, the tutorial section where there'll be a list of all the videos for tutorials you have FAQ section um, so all the information is provided all, all the frequently asked questions are present and we constantly work towards improving the plugin uh, based on the feedback that we received uh, which we did even in this version okay so you've got all the information if it's not working you can follow the troubleshooting spare you know steps and uh, all the frequently asked questions are present and then you have options to go ahead and um, buy our pro version as well and customization okay great uh, anyway, so i hope you did like the video if you did please do share my video with others and do rate us okay you have all the videos available uh, the video links right next to these uh, you know tabs so you can always click on them and take you there and this is our rate us uh, tab okay all right guys take care and then i'll see you in the next video bye